Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I wanted to make a video uh, called Not Pocket Pens. Now we all know what pocket pens are. They are nice little small pens that serve a great purpose for everyday carry and you know living in your pocket. The two examples I have here are the Traveler's Brass Pocket Pen and of course probably what is the most common of all pocket pens, the Kaweco Sport. Now Pocket pens generally like have some sort of trick that make them a full size pen. Um, in these cases, when you cap them, uh, they are a comfortable pen in the hand. Um, same here with the uh, Travelers Company pen. Nice length, good for use, all of that sort of stuff. But there's a funny little uh, area of pens that I find, which I, I call not pocket pens. And of course, they are not pocket pens. They're not designed as pocket pens, but they are smaller pens. Um, and so what I thought I'd do is I'd take a number of uh, these from my collection and just put them here um, alongside two pens. Firstly, the Kaweco Sport, because, hey, it's a that is a true pocket pen and uh, a Lamy Safari. Now, if you look at the pocket pen in comparison to Lamy Safari, it's obviously much, much smaller. So I have six pens I wanted to show today. Now, I'm not gonna do writing samples with these. I've done writing samples with a lot of these on other videos, particularly reviews of them. It is actually more about the size of the pen. So what I would like you to do, I'm gonna show the size of the, it's about the size of the pen and the feel in the hand. I'm going to show those pens if these are models of pen you are interested in, if you are not familiar, if you're familiar with them, great. If you're not familiar with them, check them out because uh, there are a bunch of other videos and reviews on each of these pens that show the writing samples with all the different nibs. I've got these in different nib sizes. Uh, and so let's just start looking at them. So I wanted to start with something that uh, is quite a common uh, pen and that is the Pilot Pereira. Now the Pereira isn't my favorite Pilot model, uh, but it's got a lot going for it. It's got a good nib. It's the standard nib that comes on the, uh, you know, the Pilot Metropolitan, all of those sorts of things. It's got one of the nicest little capping mechanisms, uh, and it comes in a multitude of colours depending on where you get it from. It takes a, you know, a converter, all those sorts of things. But it's not a big pen. It's not actually terribly much longer than a Kaweco Sport. So. This is what I'm meaning by when I say not pocket pens. These are small pens that when capped or when posted sort of do make fairly good sized pens in the hand, very usable, but smaller pens nonetheless. So the Pilot Prera. Now this pen uh, is widely available. It's got a nice feel in the hand. It is Pilot, so you are getting a well-made pen with a great nib. Um, it is more expensive than the Metropolitan and things like that, but it is well worth looking at uh, if that is what you're into. The next pen I wanted to show you is from one of my favorite brands, and that is Twisby. And this is the uh, Mini, or Vac Mini um, fountain pen. Twisby make a couple of pens in this size. There's also the, uh, I think the, the, the 580 Mini or whatever it's called. Um, and it's a full size pen when it is posted and you screw to post and it makes a good size pen in the hand. This is uh, the VAC filling system pen, like similar to the VAC 700. Um, but like the, uh, you know, these pens in this video, it's on the smaller side. Um, and so I don't consider these to be naturally full size pens, but when they are posted, they are perfectly usable. The next pen is a pen that uh, while mine is a slightly different version of it, comes in a multitude of versions. That is the Pelican M200. Now mine is the M250 because it has, this is a vin more vintage model. Uh, it's got a gold nib, uh, which is why it's the M250. But as the M200 or the M205, depending on the color of trim you get, there are multiple versions. They do limited editions or special editions each year and things like that. So Pelican make super, super high quality pens and their stainless steel nibs that you get on the 205 and the 200 are beautiful. Um, and when the pen is, you know, in your hand, it's a very comfortable pen. It's slim. The section is not particularly uh, thick or long, but it's a comfortable pen in the hand and it writes 
absolutely beautifully. Now, in comparison to the Kaweco and the Lamy, once again, it fits in that lovely little glory zone. It is a smaller pen, uh, and while the Pelican M range of pens, the Sovereign pens, do go up to quite large in the M1000, the uh, 200 and the 400 particularly are quite small pens. Next is a pen from Estabrook, and this actually was, is called a pocket pen. It is the JR Pocket, uh, designed to, uh, be a modern take on the Estabrook J, which was a very, very popular pen back in the day. Um, this is, I think, actually one of the nicest, smaller fountain pens uh, I've used. It is definitely smaller than Alami Safari. It's getting a little bit bigger there than the uh, Kaweco, but it, this is actually labelled as the JR Pocket. Um, so a slightly smaller pen, uh, but when posted, very, very nice size, but this one actually is probably the most usable uh, of all these pens unposted because it has just got that tiny little bit more length on it. This pen often gets compared to the Pelican actually, so I might just put those up next to each other here, um, the Pelican M200 size. Uh, as you can see, it's a tiny, tiny bit longer, but it shares a lot of sort of similar features in terms of the size. The next pen uh, is an interesting one. It's from uh, Edison. It is the Edison Brockton. This is the uh, cream soda finish. It was a limited edition from 2019. Um, it's a small pen, but it's got lots of good girth on it. And it comes with a number six size nib. Now, there are a couple of pocket pens that come with number six size nibs, but most pens do come in this sort of size do come with a slightly smaller uh, nib. Uh, but what makes this one nice is the fact that with its girth, when it's posted, it's a really, really good size pen. And with that number six size nib on it, uh, this is a Yovo nib um, that has been, you know, sort of rebranded and tuned and everything by Edison. They do a wonderful job with the nibs over there. It does make a really, really lovely size pen in the hand. It's a very comfortable pen to write with. It's um, it's, we are pushing up the price here, obviously. Um, when you come from something like the Prairie, which in Australia sells for about 55 US, uh, 55 Australian, we're now getting into the hundreds of dollars for the sort of smaller pens. Uh, but you're getting pens that are beautifully made, interesting material here. Uh, and from a really, really uh, caring company who really think about their pens. So the Edison Brockton, nice smaller pen, becomes very, very comfortable, nice lightweight pen. Um, but yes, when it's next to the uh, Lamy Safari and the uh, Kaweco Sport there, definitely uh, oh, definitely on sort of the smaller side of the, of the scale, uh, but still bigger than a pocket pen, but small enough to definitely be easily carried. The last of the six pens to get shown today uh, is one of my favorite pens. I've done a full review of this. I've done a full review of a number of those pens, actually. Uh, and this one uh, is probably, probably the reason why I made this video, actually. Because it's a smaller pen that packs way more punch than 90% of larger pens. Uh, it's incredibly popular. So many different versions, like finishes and colors and all that sort of stuff of this pen are available. The pen is the Sailor Pro Gear. Now this is the standard size one. There is a slim version, which is even a little bit smaller, uh, which is even closer to a pocket pen. It's roughly the same length, just slimmer. As you can see, it is smaller than Alami Safari. It is on the smaller side. Uh, and while it is bigger than a Kaweco Sport, this pen is comfortable, very, very comfortable as a pocket carry pen. Um, when it is unposted, the pen is just probably a bit short uh, to be uh, used, but when it is posted, this pen is magic. It's got a great length, the balance is perfect. The wear, the cap sits in your hand, absolutely amazing. Because this pen has a little bit of girth to it, it's not a narrow pen by any stretch. You don't feel like you're holding a small pen at all. Um, you feel like you're holding a short pen when you're writing like that, but when it's posted, you feel like you're holding an absolutely full-size pen, which is just absolutely wonderful. And the, the nibs on these are amazing. This one has the 21 karat gold nib. There's a huge range of nibs. Uh, and Sailor are one of those companies that are really, really, really at the top.
uh, of this industry. So to recap those pens uh, in this, what I call the not pocket pen category, um, or just smaller fountain pens really, we have the Pilot Pereira, the Twisby Vac Mini, the Pelican M200 size pen, the Estabrook JR Pocket, the Edison Brockton, and lastly, and definitely not leastly, the Sailor Pro Gear. So these are, as I said, these are all pens that come into that slightly smaller category, but when they are uh, posted, they write beautifully, they write comfortably, they fit well in the hand. They come with a wide range of nibs, uh, you know, extra fine, fine mediums through to, you know, sort of the full Twisby range. The Pelican have a great range through into broad. Uh, the, the Estabrook JR uses a Yovo number no. five size nib, so they come in a wide range. Of course, number six size nib from uh, Edison there, it's a Yovo nib, so you could get anything from extra fine through to 1.5 millimeter stubs and a huge range of uh, you know unique grinds. And then of course, the Sailor Pro Gear having its huge range of nibs from extra fines through to soft fines and mediums through to broad. And you know, yeah, I think there's even a music nib you can get on the Sailor Pro Gear. So lots and lots there um, in this slightly smaller pen category that I call the not pocket pen category. Pocket pens are a unique thing. I've made videos about them. I really enjoy them. I do tend to carry something in my pocket at all times, um, whether it's a pocket pen or a you know something like a Pilot Metropolitan or, depending on my job, even something like a Visconti Homo Sapiens, but that is definitely not a pocket pen. Um, these pens fit in that interesting sort of category of smaller fountain pens that are great for pocket carry, a bit bigger than a standard pocket pen, uh, but when, you're, when you post them, when you're writing with them, you have the feeling of writing with a full-size pen and they all right absolutely beautifully so thank you for watching i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that i produce please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below you can find me on instagram or twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring your review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens of whatever size they may be, and I'll talk to you soon.